welkom bij een video tutorial of Magento Colors. My name is Hans Kuipers from Yirio and with this tutorial I will show you how to replace the proceed to checkout image with the CSS configurable button. All you need is running installation of Magento to Joomla using Matebridge. This tutorial is based on a community version of Magento but will also work for the enterprise version. When designing your webshop uh, through Matebridge you come to a point where you want to change your buttons, for instance the shopping cart button over here. It's orange, although the rest of the site is not using the color orange. Well, using Firework you can find out what CSS you have to change. But unfortunately this isn't CSS, it is an image. So therefore we have to go back to Magento and replace this image to a CSS configurable button. In order to find out where you can change this image to a CSS configurable button, you have to go to the Magento backend. You enable your path hints, you go to System, Configuration, scroll down to Developer, and then select the main website and enable your path hints. After that, go to your website and reload this page. It's the Magento webshop. Scroll down and add an item to your cart. You see the same proceed to checkout button. It's still an image. As you can see it's an image. And it's hidden in this file. Since we are not changing uh, files within the default theme, we're going to add a new theme. Therefore you go back to the backend of your Magento and go to System Configuration and then you go to Design. Change the scope back to your default config and add a new design. I add a new default theme which is called Magebridge. Save the configuration. Now you can go to your HTML editor. I use Coda as my default editor. And within Coda, I go to App, Design, Frontend, Default. And within Default, I'm going to create a new theme, which is called Magebridge. For Magebridge, I have to use the file Default Template. Scroll down to checkout, one page, and on one page I use the file link.phtml. This file I'm going to use in Magebridge, so I'm going to rebuild the same directory structure over here. Within Magebridge I create template, then I can create checkout. one page and the file link.phtml Since we have changed uh, in the back end of Magento our theme as default to Magebridge now I already can see the difference between the previous one and, and the new one. If I'm correct the proceed to checkout button has to disappear since link.phtml is empty, and it does. It disappeared because now it points to link.phtml in our theme, and since this file is empty, uh, you don't see the button anymore. Now, to create a new button, we're going to copy all files of all code from uh, the default link.phtml and paste it in our new link.phtml. When I save it and return to the to the card and refresh this page, the button should appear again, but still as an image. Now go back to Coda and find this image. This image is over here. 
but we want a button. So create a button and give it a type this button and give it some text inside. Now default Magento uses the spun HTML tag and within this uh, we have to place some PHP code that collects the name of this field. Proceed to check out. But it still doesn't work. Now we'll add some classes so we can uh, give it some look, great look and feel. Form Alt button form button alt is normally used for all buttons in Magento and proceed to checkout is a class I defined myself. The last thing we have to do is get my button to go anywhere when I click on it. So on click set location to somewhere and that somewhere is defined over here. some single quotes so it won't fail on me. Save this page and when I go back to my website I have to see two buttons when I refresh this page. Two buttons. One configurable CSS button and one image. Last thing we have to do is delete this image. So therefore you have to delete the entire line. Save and go back to your web shop and refresh this page. In Magento now the proceed to checkout button has been replaced to a CSS configurable button. Go back to your Joomla web shop uh, connected to Magento using Magebridge. When I refresh this page this proceed to checkout button will disappear and we've been replaced by a CSS configurable button, which is. One last thing we have to do is check if it still works. So click on proceed to checkout, and I can continue to the checkout page of Magento. So it works. That's it. In this video tutorial, I showed you how to replace the image with a more configurable CSS button. This was a video tutorial from Yirio. Visit our website at for more tutorials. Have fun creating cool Magento web shops. Until next time.